James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, September 21st, 2023, 10.30 a.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a critical future update. We've just had an M8.62 solar flare pop off the sun. It came from our old fateful sunspot, AR3435. The event started at 1242 and ended at 1302, 20 minute event and directly earth facing. I think we're in trouble here, folks. Again, an M8.62 according to NOAA. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager. Go 16, 195 angstroms. You can actually see the X flare occur right there. I will say that it appears there's another flare right to the right that occurs right after the M8.62. Wow, folks, what is going on? And this sunspot still going to be earth facing for four, five, six days. Heading over to the D Region Absorption Prediction Center. Let's see what kind of X-rays hit Earth as we move into the time period here. 1252, just as promised. Bang. That is some event covering most all of Africa, most of Spain, Portugal, and most of the EU covering Brazil and the entire Atlantic Ocean. It looks like only the Lesser Antilles were covered by the heavy X-ray dose here, not the rest of the Caribbean. Although this was some blast, please notice the radio alternation on the right here. And we'll keep going until it finally fades away. It's like it takes much longer than the numbers gave us. It's like it was ongoing for Close to one hour. Wow. All right, taking a look at all the events for today, we see that the activity started at about 1.32 UTC time, which would have been about 9.30 last night centrally. And we've just had, as you guys know, the M8.62 solar flare directly Earth-facing, the last event you see here. Heading over to HMI, Intensity gram, we see that our sun is riddled in sunspots. It looks like someone shot it with a 12 gauge. We can further see that sunspot AR3435 and sunspot AR3438 seem to have separated. 3435 is still a complex sunspot being beta gamma currently. NOAA has come out to say that there is a 5% chance of an X flare today. And there was a 50% chance of an M flare. I guess that ship sailed. With that said, there's not much else to say except for hold on for the ride. We have on the 19th, three M flares and a strong C flare. On the 20th, we have that very strong 8.1% magnitude M flare and then we just had another M class 8.62 that almost broke the X flare threshold. So we should start seeing some of this activity hitting Earth in the form of coronal mass ejections, CMEs. I would say late this evening into tomorrow some of the flares from yesterday and today will take a little bit longer, but since they're such strong flares, they're going to be moving much faster. So we'll look for about a 40 hour window for impact for each of those. Maybe a few hours more than that. Uh, I will say that Noah has come out this morning and said that the M8.1 yesterday will only deliver a glancing blow to Earth. We'll see about that, right? God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.